Hello everyone, uh, Happy New Year, I uh, wish everybody uh, had a good holiday, um, finally it's, uh, it's, it's, it's brand new year, uh, 2022 it's uh, finally over, um, in the new year we have a lot of things to hope for, um, especially for hiding out, right? Uh, so in this video, I'm going to go through um, uh, the ERX uh, highly on ERX weight, uh, like how 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 much it weight, um, based on some of the information uh, I found uh, online, right? So um, last December, uh, Tesla uh, released their uh, uh, semi truck uh, battery uh, semi truck. And but they they don't they don't disclose any for information about the uh, the weight of a battery, so uh, that uh, so there is a lot of a skepticism uh, and about it, and uh, lots of YouTuber uh, doing some uh, some estimation about the uh, about the weight, right? So on, on the Twitter. Um, I found I just uh, stumped on this one. I found uh, this probably the closed uh, estimation for the um, for the te Tesla Sami. Uh, so basically, what what he does is uh, basically uh, use the total weight, uh, subtract the uh, the concrete barrier, the weight of a concrete barrier, right? So there are like eleven concrete barrier here. Right, so each one needs like a four thousand, um, and plus the, the flat bed. Right, that's about ten uh, ten thousand pounds. So the total adds up about like a fifty four uh, thousand pounds, and you subtract by the total uh, vehicle weight, uh, which it should be eighty two, uh, not eighty one, because the, I think the government allows extra 2,000 uh, pounds for the battery uh, semi so this I think is 82 and uh, the results will be like 28,000 pounds uh, something like that so um, yeah so I think this is uh, more or less accurate uh, uh, calculation so we're gonna try to do the same thing uh, for the uh, for the Hylian e uh, ERX uh, here uh, okay, before I doing that, uh, let's take a look uh, at uh, a clip uh, from Hylian. Uh, there is some information we're gonna use from this uh, this clip. Okay, so let's just watch it. Oh. So we brought four trucks on our trip, and each one of them has a different uh, payload capacity to evaluate the different driving conditions that real world customers will experience. The reason we took multiple different loads is we want to try to emulate as best as we can today uh, how these trucks are going to be used by the customer. So we have one trailer that's around 41,000 gross vehicle weight. And that's really you know, targeted at somebody who's transporting a large voluminous thing, but maybe it's not very heavy. Something like tissue paper or toilet paper takes up a lot of space, but doesn't have a lot of weight. Then we have another vehicle that's uh, slated at 59K GVW, and that is uh, kind of the mid-load, right? So uh, um, a truck that's hauling a mid-weight item. We have two trucks that are doing 82. So I'm just going to stop right there. Uh, so clearly you can, uh, you can hear that, that the engineer from Hylian talk about uh, two scenarios, right? One is uh, a lightweight. Um, uh, for for fleets to delivery uh, some um, uh, light gro grocery right light, light uh, uh, cargos so the first in the scenario uh, 41,000 um, total weight 40, 41,000 pound total weight and the second one is uh, 59,000 pound uh, total weight that's like a medium uh, weight right so let's just use those two numbers and uh, some other information uh, to uh, calculate the, the the ERX uh, uh, weight. So let's take, let's uh, scroll back to the uh, to the first scenario. So this is the first scenario. So for the first scenario, they use the B three 
uh, for this first scenario. So, so this is the first scenario. Forty. So that the total gross vehicle weight is forty one thousand pounds, right? So, so, so what contribute to the weight, right? So the tractor, the ERX, uh, which we want to calculate, right? So that's X unknown right now. And uh, there's like a two block concrete barrier, right? And the, the uh, flat bed, right? So for the flat bed, it's uh, easier to, to, to find out the weight. So it's, uh, if you look closely, the flat bed is like, a, it's called the extra uh, X3, X3. Uh, so extra X3. Uh, flat bed. So it's not uh, hard to find the information about the flat bed. So um, it's this one. It's not a spread axle. Uh, if you close, uh, look closely, watch closely in the video, it's uh, not a, a spread axle, and it's not expandable. So this one, it must be this one. Um, I'm pretty sure that's uh, this is the one uh, used by uh, Hylian. So. And the weight of uh, that flatbed is 10,813 pounds. Okay, that's a pretty easy to, uh, to find out. And uh, so for the concrete, uh, I did some uh, research also on online, and uh, I also found that the, I think I found the, the correct one, which is uh, uh, this one. Uh, it's called the V wedged uh, concrete, right? So, um, this I think this this it, 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 it is is the one, uh, and the, the the weight of the concrete is uh, three thousand six hundred pounds, so two two of them. So there are two of them used in the scenario, the scenario one. So the uh, the weight for the concrete, the load is uh, seven thousand two hundred pounds, right? So in the first scenario. So you're, you're looking at the 41,000 uh, pounds minus 72,000 uh, and the minus 10,813 pounds. Uh, the result is 200, uh, sorry, 22,987 pounds. So roughly 23,000 uh, pounds for the ERX. Okay. Okay, so for the second uh, scenario, it's a little bit uh, complicated uh, because uh, there is more concrete, right? Uh, but the the idea it's it's uh, it's really the same. So let's uh, scroll to uh, the second scenario, which uh, is they use uh, uh, B five uh, B five to do the uh, second uh, scenario. Uh, so. Let's just quickly take a look. So, the first the chunk of a block. Uh, so this is the same. I think this this is the similar one uh, they used uh, in the scenario one. So um, there's a two two uh, two of a uh, uh, block. So total weight is a seven thousand two hundred. So that's that. That's that. And the next next one. So <coughs> they uh, labeled it right. So it's uh, clearly say this is just one. One block, so the total weight is uh, three thousand four hundred and forty pounds, right? And uh, for the third uh, chunk, so I think there are two, uh, two separate uh, uh, small block. That's why they label the both. So one is one thousand six hundred fourteen pounds, and another one is uh, uh, one thousand six hundred forty-two pounds, right? And uh, the last, the last section. So I think there are like a four uh, small uh, block. So one, two, three, and I believe there's another one on the other side, right? Four. So, and each one I think uh, there the, the the weight is similar. So this one is uh, one thousand six hundred forty-one pounds, and uh, I will assume that this one will be the similar weight. And vice versa for the other side, right? So this one is a six one thousand six hundred seventy one seventy one pounds, right? So 
so now I think we can uh, get a pretty good idea like uh, how much uh, the total weight on this on, on this uh, flatbed right um, the total gross vehicle weight is uh, 59,000 pounds and the flatbed is just the same one and the weight uh, stay the same 10,813 pounds and for the concrete block here is all the uh, all the weight right so you if you add them add them up the total uh, weight for the concrete block is 20,530 pounds right and uh, so in this case uh, for the ERX uh, the weight is 27,657 pounds uh, you can you can try to do the calculation uh, I, I did it twice uh, double check it and that's the correct number so <coughs> Here's this interesting, uh, interesting thing, right? So we have a two different number uh, from scenario one and uh, scenario two. And the difference between those numbers is uh, 4,670 pounds. So almost 5,000 pounds. Um, why, right? The, why this, there is like a five, almost 5,000 pound difference? Um, unless I made some mis mistake which I don't think so um, or maybe the highly engineering um, miss uh, miss uh, miss uh, speak miss misspoke the the total vehicle weight uh, that could be also a possibility but uh, that's all also unlikely so what could be the difference I mean the reason for the difference um so my guess will be the scenario one maybe they use the 25 mile version of erx and uh, for scenario two they use the 75 miles version for erx so that's that's the only reason i can think of right um so it's kind of makes sense to me because they, they try to test both version right so um so for the for the 25 ver 25 mile version um you don't need that much battery right so it's it's much lesser weight uh 22 23000 it makes sense um and for the longer version longer mile version um uh you probably need more battery which compared to the Tesla uh, Siemens weight, it's 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 pretty close, right? Pretty close, uh, similar to uh, the semi uh, Tesla semi. So, yeah. So that's uh, that's my calculation. So what what do you guys think? Like uh, the the did, did I miss something or did I uh, do something wrong here? So if you found out or you have any anything, please leave. Uh, down the comments uh, let me know so we can all discuss uh, further right so yeah so thanks for watching uh, that's all i got uh, for today yeah have a good day and a happy new year again